going on guys? It's Alex over at Boost Controlled Performance. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about your Ecutech tuning kit, what you're gonna get, what you're gonna need to do with it, and how to identify some of the stuff in it. So uh, when you get your Ecutech programming kit, it's gonna look something like this. It's got a nice carrying case. And inside, you've got USB cable, You've got a Bluetooth dongle, and you've got your programming key. So this key right here is going to allow you to flash a map to your car. So what I do as a tuner is I actually send a file to you that's locked to this key. I program this key before I send the kit out. So the only way you'll be able to flash a map to your car is you if you have this key plugged into your USB port. So when you're flashing, you need to use the Bluetooth module and you need to use the USB cable to plug into your computer. In a minute, I'm going to show you how to use that computer program. But for right now, I just wanted to show the components that we're going to use. So when you're driving the car and you want to log or adjust your launch control transmission parameters, stuff like that, you can just have this plugged in to the OBD2 port on your car. But when you flash it, that's when you need to use the cable. So those are the items that come with the kit. You also have a business card inside there with some contact info for me. We'll throw some stickers inside here. But these are the components that are gonna come with your programming kit. Now we can look at uh, a little bit closer on how to use the program and how to flash your map to your car. Okay, so you've received your Accutech programming kit, you've paid for your tune, and you're ready to get the process started. You're wondering, how do I do any of this, Alex? Well, I wanted to make this video to make it as easy as possible for you guys to get the tune uploaded onto your car so that we can begin the process. So the first component we have here is the dongle that came with your programming kit. Now, 90% of the time, this dongle I'm already going to have programmed to your tune files. If for some reason I tell you that I need your dongle ID, I'm going to show you how to get that. So you're going to plug it in and then you're going to open the Accutech app downloader. So it immediately recognized the dongle ID and the registration code and you're going to take both of those items and send them to me. That's how I'm gonna be able to make sure that your tune is locked to your dongle. So that is how you grab that information from your dongle. When you open up Pro ECU, I wanna show you how to add the licenses to your dongle if you ever need to do so. If I program your dongle or update it with new flash points, then you'll have to go over to Accutech Update and allow it to do a check. Now, all it did was it checked the software update and if it was ready to perform. Right here, if I click Check for Flashpoint Updates, it will check for flashpoints. It didn't find any. If it did, it would tell you that it added some. So once again, this, is, this part is really only important if I tell you that your dongle does not have any flash points allocated to it. And um, if that's the case, we're just gonna do this. As you see, the process only takes a couple minutes and then you'll be ready to go. So let's go out to the car that we're working with today and I'm gonna show you guys how simple it is to flash your car for the first time and for many times to come. Now, I suggest grabbing one of these. This is a USB hub, so it pretty much takes one USB plug and turns it into four, sometimes five, USB ports. The reason why you need this is because when you flash your GTR, you're going to need your dongle plugged in, and you're also going to need your programming cable plugged into the OBD port on your car. So if your laptop doesn't have two USB ports, that'll be impossible for you to do. Okay, so we're in the car. The first step is going to be to plug in your Bluetooth dongle. Yours is going to look a little bit different than this. This is an older programming cable, 
but it plugs into the OBD port right down here. It's right behind the trunk latch. Right there. It's a white plug. You're gonna plug your connect cable right there. Okay, so we're sitting in the car. We've downloaded our tune file. We're ready to flash it. We've got our OBD connector plugged in. We've got our programming dongle plugged in. Let's go ahead and open up Pro ECU. Now it's gonna prompt me for a software update here. I strongly suggest making sure that your software is completely up to date before starting this process. We're gonna turn the key to the on position. And then we're gonna open up tools and we're gonna to go to detect vehicle. Now we have all these options here. We can program the ECU, program the transmission ECU. Those are gonna be the two commonly most items that I have you do. It kind of speaks for itself. If we wanna program the engine, you'll hit engine. If you're gonna program the transmission, you're gonna program the transmission. So we're gonna start with the engine on this car. Right here, you're gonna click choose ROM file and you're gonna select the location of the file that I sent you. This one has already detected a new file and it chose it. For the example of this video, it's called BCP eTune 1.0. I'm gonna hit program ECU and keep in mind if your interior blower motor is on for your heating and cooling system, it will not allow you to flash. That has to be in the off position and it will tell you if that's the case. So right now it's flashing. When it's flashing, it's normal for it to tell you that there is a transmission error. Um, you're gonna get some flashing lights. It's totally normal. The flash is already completed on this car because I didn't change very many parameters in the tune. It's asking me to switch the ignition off so it can begin the reset procedure. It takes about 10 minutes. I'm sorry, 10 seconds to reset the ECU. Now it wants me to turn the ignition back on and wait. It's gonna ask if we want to clear the DTCs on this car. I always suggest hitting yes here. It clears out any diagnostic trouble codes on any of the modules to give us a fresh start before we do our tuning. Now keep in mind, if your car had a cob on it before and the access port wasn't unmarried, you'll get an error code when you go to tune your vehicle. If that happens, please let me know and we can work with it. It's asked us to switch the ignition off once again. We're just gonna continue follow the instructions here. And then it wants us to wait another 15 seconds. I swear sometimes this process takes longer than the actual flashing. Now we're gonna turn the ignition back on one more time. Programming sequence has now completed. So we're all good to go. And we can go ahead and start the car to confirm that everything is happy. So now that you've flashed your tune, you can log it from the uh, Ecutech Bluetooth app, which is actually what I suggest. If you want to log it from the computer, you're going to go to recent ROMs and you're going to select that tune file. And then you're going to go over to map access. And this is going to give us access to the actual map. If you see this, that means that we're connected to the car now. As soon as you're ready to log, just click log to file. And I'm probably going to ask you to do a third or a fourth gear pull on the car. You can start recording before you go to do your pull. There's no time limit on a log file. I'd rather have a little more data than not enough data. Once you're done doing your log, you're just gonna hit that button again. You can disconnect from the car by hitting map access there, and you're all set. You'll send that tune file to me, and then I will be able to take a look at it and send you a revision. 
I hope this was a helpful video for everybody who was concerned about flashing their car with Ecutech. If you have any questions about this process, please just put them in the comments. I'd be happy to answer them for you. I'm excited to work with you on your e-tune and I can guarantee that this process will be the easiest tuning experience you've ever had with your car. Thanks for watching and talk to you soon.